Barrow notes. Barrow notes. What is it? Garbage or writing? Oh, narrow boat wheel. It's a nice property there, isn't it? Look at that. Blimey, you can afford to live in a house like that. In York. <sighs> Millions, probably. Beautiful, isn't it? Interesting. Got these floodgates on these properties. Mm -hmm. See that? Got these all around the city. It must have cost an absolute fortune to put all this lot in, you know. Solid steel. Ain't cheap now, you know, that steel. Oh, no. Right, we're looking forward to seeing that uh, railway museum. We keep saying, no, go and see the railway house. I'm going. Look, I'm off. I'm off and see. I'm going there. Oh, it's just there. I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, brilliant. Woohoo! Oh, typical. The days I'm here. <sighs> Great. I got there on a Monday thinking, oh, yeah, I'll go to see the museum. Lovely. Look at those walls. Look, wow. And that's close to, I've got to wait now to today and tomorrow. Don't mind, look at that. Hotel that is, beautiful. Beautiful architecture, isn't it? squeamish about heights it's not not safe you know Imagine yourself there, can't you, in the, in the day, you know? Dick Turpin and Robin Hood running around, robbing people in York. Hey! <laughs> I love the architecture, it's just oozing. I don't know what these this place is, but I think you go in and do a reenactment type thing, you know? Do a show for people at the city. They looked very happy in those days, didn't they? Fabulous place to visit. I just love all the buildings and the ambience of the place and the that door look. Years, you know, people that's touched that door, little steps, eh? There must have been some kind of uh, class system where the people who lived inside the walls were sort of posh, the ones outside weren't as established in society, you know. So it must have been a, oh, we live inside the walls, you don't, no, 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 no. burn them, burn them, sort of type of attitude, you know. Might have been nice, I don't know. Apparently it's not too expensive to live in York. Anyway, you've got these walls protecting you from all the thieves and robbers, haven't you? That's handy, isn't it? Those wooden stocks have probably stood on this spot since the 16th century. They were used for the punishment of minor crimes and nuisances until changes in the law in 1858. The original stocks were displayed in the church. These replicas were set up in 2006. The flowers and all. Yeah, I do some of that nowadays, to be honest. Get little scroats in there. Thieving little mouthy scroats. Get them in there and throw tomatoes at them. I know, I know. Not tomatoes. Rocks, baby. I <laughs> know. Every street, look, every street you go down is has got a massive amount of history. The same people today travel around and wonder like they used to do in those days. You know, it must have been a beautiful when it was first built. All the churches and... Dr. John Snow, 1813, was a Victorian physician, a pioneer in the fields of anaesthesia and epidemiology. Famed for his tracing of a source of cholera outbreak in London, Soho, confirming that it is a waterborne disease. John Snow was born in York, on the 15th of March 1813. This is a memorial to him. Oh, it is in 
mystery, isn't it? That beautiful sight. the city you've got these great big thumping floodgates because the river as you know I keep saying it, it floods wow this way you don't moor down here it's bloody chaos it's all the rowing boats boats flying everywhere vibrant but your boats constantly banging there's a shelf down here a little ledge I think tomorrow I'm gonna to bring the boat down here more up for the day and then explore this area now back to the boat I've had a busy day I trained this morning I did a load of stretching and push -ups, press ups and all that and stuff and then three hours of cruising now we're on that lock and then about two and a half mile three mile walk around the city I think that's enough don't you night it's a great little mooring but it's do you know that painting I did my writing I scratched it I scratched the bloody painting oh. mm. nice and quiet though very 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 peaceful mooring crack I wonder what store is these these walls could tell you if they could speak. How many people been through that door there, look, to that building? Wow. Fabulous building. gardens behind the moorings so you can moor there looking over that house beautiful there's a uh, really old ruins in here there's a museum £8.75 on the museum. Oh, I can't go shopping, I can't afford it, man. Just bought a new mic, that cost me 50 quid. Because you lot moaning about the wind. Selfish. Wow, so much history, isn't there? My usual investigation whistle. step back in time don't you in these places really feel the ambience somebody buried there a lot eh? and they don't mind this is down the Tuesday so I've, I've, I've hung around Monday I've started walking around Tuesday now so I'm just doing a bit more sightseeing around the city just killing some time really it's just everywhere you look, it's just beautiful architecture and structures and carvings. Let's go into the old shambles, shall we? A <laughs> strange name, shambles. Just imagine the smells and the noise from the horses coming on the, on the cobbled, cobbled roads. Tiny 
narrow shambles. How close they are together. The hustle and bustle and the trading in those days. Not following that girl, honest. <laughs> Just have to be walking the same direction. Sit down in the shade. Look at that already, look in the shade. Like looking for shade already. Wow. What a place to sit, eh? Up the rose bushes. Lots and lots of history. Looks like early and early and late, doesn't it? Handmade bricks. Exceptional 14th century listed building situated in the beautiful museum garden, matched with exceptional service, is the ideal location to hold your special day. Mm. It's over two floors. Doesn't look quite the history I was looking for. 14th century. Look, doing their business. Looks like the OAP's club. They're blading them. I've been here now. Look at me, look. Get up here, look. <laughs> I've been here. Uh, what time is it now? It's what's it off? Quarter to nine. By me, sitting there having a coffee, watching the rowers, watching the rowers go past. And I'm going to move further down now. I'm going to the railway, railway museum. Do you want to come? Choo choo. Come on. I'll get your coat on then. I'm going to take a flask. Yeah, some sandwiches. Cheese and pickle, please. You gone? Still there? <laughs> Been here now for two days. This grass has grown. Look at it. It wasn't that high when we got here. It's nice time to move on now. Hello, right, mate. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Gigi? Morning. This is a nice, a nice spot. You come to York, there's a good little spot there. So just going down to the centre now and then uh, getting moored up to breakfast. My strawberries are coming on there, can't you? Hey, they're growing. Lovely. Oh, it's these rowers. Watch these rowers, oh my word. They row backwards. You can't see where they're going, you see. There we are, into the centre of York. This is the railway bridge, we can walk across it. it takes you to the museum. Very nice. There's a chap down there, he's turned and turned back again. I did that, it's going in front of that boat, so I'm going to go in front of that other side of that boat, block him in, you know. Well, got in, we got this horrible step all the way down, you see that? She can't get close enough. The river's really down, I think. Not down the dumps, but I think it's low. Alright, so okay, let's get some brekkie. Star, which is a Hamilton. Look at those lot, wow. Look 
structure inside there, look, wow. Yeah, I'm not even into trains. Yeah, but look at this quality of the workmanship. The royal carriage. That's the rocket. It's doing this rocket, the world's first modern steam locomotive. Just woodwork in there and stuff, you know. It's beautiful handles and everything. Brass, wow. Oh, look, no TVs. Go for that, eh? No TVs. Class carriages there, look. Wow. Imagine Sherlock Holmes sitting there, can't he? Working out his plans. Hey. Smoking his opium pipe, getting smashed. Craftsmanship on that, just on the door, look. On the furniture, wow. Look at those, like deco. A beautiful look. Workmanship, the glass, the brass, beautifully made, solid and tactile, incredible. Wow. Definitely lost something, haven't we, in our society? We've lost something big time. Inside here, look. Those four probably an old toilet, maybe. Wow. Yeah. Should be driven from inside there, look, underneath the tank. There's little pots of oil. Put oil in those, I'd imagine. Just keep feeding it. Wow. God, it's so heavy. So massive and heavy. Driving those wheels. Blimey. Imagine that nowadays. Oh no, you can't go on that ladder. Oh no, you need six people to go up there. Harnesses, full vests, special boots. Oh god. We've lost something, haven't we? Really have. A wonderful visit. And 
it's free to get in. It's amazing. It's hot in here though. Ship there, isn't there? Look, wow, green there, isn't it? Look at the size of that one, that is massive. Wow, that's incredible. K7 was the largest locomotive in our collection, it's one of the largest ever built in Britain. It was designed for China for the steep hills for the wheat bridges, so it needed to be large and powerful without putting a huge weight on each axle. By the time this locomotive was produced, Britain's railways had global influence and British railway vehicles were exported around the world. Look at the size of the bloody thing, look, bloody ignoring. God, it's about 20 foot high, look at the size of these wheels, look, look. <laughs> that is incredible. Oh, wow. What a place. Steel and metal and wow. That's amazing. Inside your engine. Oh, look at that. So this is well, so we can have a Hi. Hi. Just imagine you got to stand there all day next to the boiler. Driving these trains. Look at it. To stand there, look out the window. Wow. Nice in winter. Blimey. Hey, should we go for the railway? 1885. Engineer Robert Fairline designed double bogey engines that help sell railway technology to the world. Beautiful looking thing, isn't it? Number four, GWR diesel. Great Western Railways diesel rail cars were aimed at business travellers. As journey times got faster, longer distances, business travel became increasingly common. Seats on this exclusive service between Birmingham and Cardiff were available at the same price as a standard third class fare. Ooh, let's have a look. Come on, Rippers. Nice in there, isn't it? Hey, no graffiti in there. Is a lot of today. Chewing gum everywhere. Mm. What a place! This is the Channel Tunnel Construction Locomotive a Muck Truck, 1989. Not wow. Tank locomotive number, my kids live up there, look Blackpool. Railways changed the way people travelled forever. For the first time people could work or enjoy themselves many miles from where they lived. Hey look at them on the beaches now. It's more packed there then than it was than it is today. So you take this little railway, not cheap travel. The paint works really nice as well. Narrowboat paint, that is, isn't it? This is 
fast. This is a cutaway version of the train lot where you put your fire in there and the water goes in there and the steam goes into the wheels. I'll show you in a minute. Look at this. Steam would come down there into your steam cell and push, push the huge cylinders there. Just push that. Just push the wheels. So pressure will build up in there, push that back, push the wheel around. All these tubes will get hot and all the water around it will create the steam that has come down here. Wow! And the fire pit was over there. God, yeah, that's amazing. British for some looking here, Rippers. Oh, some looking here. <laughs> Beautiful. Shh. Stop playing with it. No, I love it. I've got my shoulder now. Wow. Just shows you how backward we are. This train here was electric in 1915. And uh, we had electric in about 1890. Electric scooters, electric trains, electric trams. But the oil companies didn't like that, oh no. Well, people were using internal combustion engines and Ford took over, didn't he? This Ford engine. So electric was put to the side for a hundred years. For profit. Ultra modern trains now, look. Hey. Ultra modern ones. Beautiful place to visit. When these boats go past, they create a wash, and you and the boat. I was trying to show you in a minute. The boat just bangs. My boat just goes boom, boom, boom against the side until it's until the waves at the back have stopped. You know, 